here is my mobile rabbit tractor design. I only wanted to have to buy one piece of the welded wire. So that's pretty much how the whole design started. And there is nine square feet in there, which is the minimum they recommend for large breeds. Unfortunately, it's just the minimum, but um, and it has one inch by two inch um, welded wire on the bottom, which I scrounged and found, which is nice. Uh, plywood is relatively easy to come by in small pieces, so that was all scrounged and put together. And the water is a wine jug with a cork and a piece of tubing coming out of the bottom and goes into a metal aluminum piece and it goes into that little mason jar and when she sips it low enough it bubbles up and more water comes down. So she also has this wonderful little nest box and inside there's the little hole to get in. There's her uh, pellets, and here are her babies. They're about six days old. And she has been a wonderful mother. There are nine of them, and they all lived. And it's actually only her first litter. At the door over here is three pieces of one by with battens on the back, and it opens up a lot of the same piece of wire, and here. Actually, it's an old raincoat, but this comes up and fastens as a sun and rain shield, which these days, we don't need to worry too much about the sun. It's cold and cloudy, but, and so far, it's kept all the critters out. Had a big husky come over here and sniffing around and actually tried to chew a corner of the, the hutch off. And I replaced that, but he definitely didn't get inside. So, oh, and I had a latch on here, but I found that the uh, big rock method works much better. So that goes on top and keeps everything out. I move it about three times a day. And she, you can see the old patchwork of the spots where it's been. She does a pretty good job of mowing the lawn.